What's up, party members? Just a party eight here. Welcome back for more Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we did some side quests uh, in the Conic Canyon. Got another piece of heart. Well, a lot of pieces of hearts in the last episode, and we reset that time once again. In this episode, we're gonna go towards the Stone Tower, as I promised in the last episode. So here we go. Now, I actually forgot something to talk about. Uh, in the entrance, uh, before heading to uh, towards the Conic Canyon, you can actually see some statues um, licking the Triforce, which is actually pretty horrifying for a Nintendo game. And you can also see uh, them licking the Triforce if you go over here towards the entrance. Let's see, let's go over here. For those who don't know where it is, it's actually over here. Of course I gotta show you this. You don't need to do everything again, you can just go straight towards the stone tower. A lot of these birds. As you can see, they're licking it, which is pretty terrifying. And also, this entrance is pretty dark. I mean, look at it. It's like licking its own... Ugh. But enough about looking at it. Let's go inside. <laughs> this song is probably my favorite song in the entire game. Alright, let's see. Let's get the bunny up because it's a little bit easier to jump. Oh my god, I love the song so much. I'm going to be quiet for a few seconds so you can actually hear it. So let's cry right now. Awesome, isn't it? Alright, so if you remember the last two episodes ago, I believe, we learned the Elegy of Emptiness, which is which you can create a creepy version of yourself. Wait, wait. Wait, hang on, I need to remember. Wait. Ah, my memory. Okay, let's see. Learn this song, I believe. Yeah, this song right here, so let's see. Let's do this. There we go. Which you can create an alternate version of yourself, which is very terrifying. There we go, and there it is. It's pretty terrifying. Uh, let's get our thingy, our hook shots. This place is actually pretty difficult to figure out on your first time and wow that was just lucky. Alright, let's see if it actually some arrows in this no, just rupees. Great. Anyway, these are BMOs over here. Uh, there are two ways of dealing them. You can just use the mirror shields, or you can just blow them up. With either the blast mask or your bombs. I'm just gonna do like this. There we go, jeez. Wow, it took a lot of damage already. Alright, so now you're part of the game, we're gonna use the Alligator Emptiness in our human form once again. Don't do that. Uh, what you need to do is... Uh, that's what the King said, uh, King of Iconic Canyon said, or the Iconic Castle or whatever. Is we need to use all our forms in order to travel through this place. Because we need four souls in order to pass through this area. That is a fantastic idea. Uh, let's see. 
There we go. Some people say this place is kind of annoying because you have to play this song like so many times, but it's, it's not too bad. And over here we have the corpse or Damani, which is not the creepiest one out of all of them, but it's still pretty terrifying. You can see, you can also see where how Darmani died, which is pretty terrifying. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be a lot of. All right, let's see. Let's get this. There we go. Uh, let's see where I think we need to stand up here. I don't remember this place, just like Great Bay Temple, as much. I do like this dungeon. This is definitely the best, uh, most memorable dungeon in this entire game. Alright, let's see. Should be another switch. Yeah, here it is. So now we need to use Mikau, the third one that we got. The reason why I'm not uh, choosing the Deku Mask, I will show you in a bit, but for now, let's just do this. There we go. You can do it a little bit faster if you are playing the actual N64 or just a 3DS version, but eh. like I said, my Wii U uh, control stick is very sensitive, so yeah. All right, so there we go. And I'm not going to use Mikau in order to jump over the these. Uh, like I said, if you're not care, if you're not sure with uh, rolling jumps, just use the bunny hoit. There we go. Uh, I think you need to ignore these right here. Let's see. Yes, you need to ignore these ones and fire keys. Yep, you need to ignore these. Uh, let's see. Uh, aha, up there. Okay, this is actually where I think the 3DS version is, is a little bit better because you need to switch your items a lot in this dungeon. Uh, excuse me, this place. We're not in the actual dungeon yet. That's on top of this thing. Alright, there we go. Not bad. So now we, need to, now we can use uh, the thing again in our human form. There we go. Kind of like uh, the command melody from Wind Waker. You need to cup, uh, use it a couple of times. There are some interesting theories about uh, what this place is, and they're pretty interesting, so go look it up. I'm not, I'm not a theory, theory type of uh, guy, so I'm not going to explain it to you. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, where do we need to go? Aha! And more Bemos. It's actually a pretty funny name, Bemos. <laughs> Yeah, let's get our blast mask again. Maybe I should just speed up for this place, but I'm not gonna do that. And ow. Die. There we go. I could also use the shield, but nah, this is faster. This first part is not too bad. The dungeon itself, I have to agree, is pretty challenging. This is this part is very straightforward. Now uh, let's see, let's get our Ocarina again. Oh, excuse me, our Ocarina, and let's get Darmani. Uh, no. There we go. Don't worry, I will show you the uh, Deku form as well. Because I will say right now, the alternate version of the Deku is is the most useless one. Which is sad, because like I said, I don't know why they give, don't give a lot of love for the uh, Deku form, but okay. And oh god, jeez, you gotta watch out for these rocks, because of course they hurt you. Wait, hang on, do we need to go up? No, not yet, okay. As you can see, we're almost there. And here's the third switch. There 
There we go, so now we can safely go across that place. There we go. Alright. However, the creativity of this of this place is off the charts. It's I love it. Like I said, the N64 Zelda games, a lot of people find some puzzles really difficult. But that's the challenge in my opinion, because that's what a dungeon is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be straightforward, it's supposed to be, you know, puzzling, you know. That's definitely a like a positive about the N64 Zelda games. But this is the pure example of creativity. It's funny because I said that I think Great Bay Temple was already very creative. But this is next level. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think you can go up there like this. Yes, there we go. Watch out for the boulders. Now this one is pretty difficult to get to! Oh my god, that was close. Alright, there we go. You need to stay on the ledge, otherwise you cannot make... What? Otherwise you cannot make it. Come on. There we go. Uh, watch out for these fire keys. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, magic. Thank you. Uh, let's see. We're almost at the top. Where where is it? Maybe I just need to stand up here. Wait, 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 wait. I need to stand up here first. Wait. There we go. I think that I have a better view of things. Aha! There you are. And here's the L statue. So we don't need to climb this thing again, even if we reset time, so that's a good thing. Some arrows, thank you. And a fairy, even though I... Well, I lost a lot of health, so that kind of makes sense. Alright, bombs and magic. Now, for this one, you need to do it in the right order. So first up, the first up is the middle one. You need to face four doing this. There we go. I believe you need to face four. Uh, by the way, this owl statue was not in the Japanese version. So in the Japanese version, you have to climb this tower multiple times if you uh, want to. Re if you want needed to reset time. Very, very jerkish. Maybe that's why the... Well, like I said, Japanese people are like... Godly at video games. So I'm not surprised, but... Still. Alright, hopefully I'm doing this right. If not, it can be very embarrassing. And I just practiced this. Uh, whoa, draw distance. Uh, let's see. Alright, next is Mikal. Actually, I should just give her the. Ah, whatever. Uh, let's get our Ocarina of Time. There we go! I did it correctly. Of course I did correctly. <laughs> I actually, I rarely got got things wrong in the during this walkthrough, which I'm very proud of. Because usually I do walkers way too early, but I actually practice this enough times, so yeah. Well, also I have a bad memory, so... <laughs> Doesn't matter how much I practice, I, oh, I absolutely have a bad memory. Um, let's see, get this. Fair at the top. So let's go enter the actual dungeon. This was just a beginning. If you need to reset it, you just need to press these buttons and play the uh, LG of Emptiness again. 
now we're going to start the final dungeon of the game. Stone Tower Temple. With a creepy face at the beginning. Holy crap. Alright, so we got some dragonflies over here. Uh, do we have arrows? Oh yeah, I got, I got, oh, wow, 30 arrows, not bad. Alright. Up. Then, <laughs> that bomb tube, oh no. And that bomb tube is about to explode. I think. And, screw you! Alright, another dragonfly. Die. Alright, so let's see. There's a something over there. We can't do anything about that quite yet. Uh, I think there's some more collectibles we can get over here. Some more bombs, please. Hearts, thank you. And magic. Alright, All right, as you saw kind of poorly, there is a eye over here. And, oh my god, N64 controls. There we go. There we go. I think there's nothing down there, so I guess that's a good thing. Uh, I need to jump over to the middle. Yep. What was that, Link? You're not as good as Linky Boy. Those who have not seen my Wake Wake walkthrough, I know what I'm talking about. Alright, let's actually jump like over here. There we go. Get this. It's a dungeon, so. Yep, our first straight fairy. We're collecting them again, of course. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay. So let's go over here this way. This is actually a very uh, similar to the uh, Spirit Temple. You just need to use all your abilities in this dungeon, which I quite like, of course. But I, I probably a lot of people don't agree with me on this, but I like this temple more than spe the Spirit. Oh my God, the Spirit Temple. I don't know. I just, I like this temple more. Uh, no, I don't want to pray to. Uh, Make things explode. There we go. As you can see, there is a uh, treasure chest above us. Which is kind of strange. But we can't do anything about those yet, just yet. That's a kind of a spoiler of what we need to do later on in this place. Which is pretty cool. Alright, I'm ready for you guys. There we go. There we go. Alright, so there should be three switches over here. Yep, first one is this one, which is so big. So we need a fat man in order to press this. Okay, that sounded really offensive. I should probably never say that again, because demonetization. There we go. And uh, with this one, uh, let's do our human form. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Deku form. All right, so let's show it right now. Like I said, the Deku form, the most useless uh, spirit out of all of them. Why? Because even if you stand on this one over here, a regular, you know, switch. Wait, let's actually do like this. There we go. Now, this is probably the creepiest version of this song. Well, the creepiest alternate version. It's very terrifying. It's not as terrifying as the original one, or the GameCube version, where the eyes are blank. But it's still pretty terrifying. Or it's just the European release. Maybe that's the one, I guess. Yep. 
Yep, no. There we go. There we go. But the thing is, if you use the allergy of emptiness as a deco right over here, it doesn't press the switch even uh, because, well, it's too light. So that's why the deco form is useless. Just sad once again. And there's another switch above us, which you can't do anything about just yet. Alright, next is this one. Let's get this again. Also, of course, there's one thing I want to talk about. Because yesterday the uh, new Sonic trailer came out. It's for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, of course. And oh my goodness gracious, I loved that trailer. That was amazing. I mean, we can all agree it was better than the first Sonic trailer. <laughs> the thing is, I love it. I loved that trailer. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Don't want to put my expectations too high, of course, like most people do. But right now, I'm excited as hell for that movie in April. I'm not gonna watch it in the theaters because it's gonna be the Dutch dub instead of the uh, standard English, you know. Uh, version, which is very stupid, but oh, whatever. And for those who don't know, the Dutch version of uh, the original movie is crap. Well, I don't like the dub, and that's it. I don't like the Dutch, you know, version of it. Uh, where? Okay, here it is. Let's just kill these guys. There we go. And screw you. Target it, thank you. Uh, where are you? Targeting system, there we go. Alright, this one you need to bomb. I believe, I think, ending this one. Ta da! Because that is actually, if we go this way. A ceiling! Of course, we need to use this, the our mirror shield again. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this. And I don't want to, I don't want to attack these statues over here because those are familiar enemies if you played Wind Waker before this. Alright, so we need to use Goron to get past this because you know we're immune to fire or lava. This and this will get us. The dungeon map! So now I'm gonna show you what this place is all about. So here it is. It's only two floors! But look at the floor size difference. You're probably thinking, oh, that's pretty small. No, <laughs> this place is not small at all. You'll see why later on. Alright, so here you get these guys. I actually forgot the name of these guys. Uh, Armos, yes, those are the names. Before it wakes. Alright, you need to hit it at least once, and then it will explode. There we go. You can actually uh, try to let the, them explode their allies, which is pretty funny. Like if you go this way. There we go, avoid, there we go. Now there's one other thing. Let's actually kill all these enemies. Uh, did I did I kill the other one? Wait. Because you actually need to kill all of them to get a special prize. Okay, there we go. There we go. Or at least these guys, I believe. I don't think you need I don't think you need to Yeah, okay, there we go. And that is pure Nintendo logic right there. A wooden chest inside lava. Very smart of you, Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo logic. 
And our first small, small key. Nice. Alright, so the last thing in this room. Uh, no, we're not going to play a song. Uh, let's see. Let's get over here. Should be a... Ah, there it is. Can I make it like this? Stupid wood. There we go. Good trash, treasure chests. And story fairy number two. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so now that we got a few uh, two stray fairies, we climbed the tower. And we're now inside the main uh, temple, Stone Tower Temple. I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode off. So I guess we're gonna say next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we'll be going further into Stone Tower Temple. So see you guys next time.